Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and today I'm going to be opening up a bunch of minifigures from Series 22. You guys may have seen recently the LEGO Group sent me a full box of Series 22. This comes out on January 1st, but they sent it to me early so I can review all these for you guys. And a review will be coming, but first obviously I have to open them, so of course I'm going to film it. I used to open the entire box in one video, but I think I'm going to change it up a little bit this time. I'm going to open minifigures until I get the complete series, and then once I get the complete series, anything left over will be opened on my TikTok account. Because I don't know, it's a little redundant once I have all the figures to just keep opening more. And you know, opening minifigure videos do really well on TikTok, so I might as well move it over there. But yeah, this video will end when I get one full complete series. And as I go through, I'll be giving you my initial thoughts on each figure, but stay tuned for my full review to see, like, my more in-depth thoughts on each of them. But with all that being said, let's get started. We'll start with this one right here in the very front. Oh, right off the bat, that is the figure I wanted the most. We have the Snow Warrior. Right off the bat, this figure is incredibly detailed. Dual molded arms, dual molded legs, side arm printing, side leg printing. The all new hat piece is fantastic. I love how that looks. And he just fell over, but this dog is really cool too. He's got blue eyes, which is new for this guy. I love the little snowflake shield too. Super, super cool. All right, figure number two. Let's see what this one is. And this is the Bard. Here's the Bard with his loot, and again, super, super detailed, right? Side arm printing, side leg printing, dual molded legs. I love the new loot piece, that's fantastic. The face print's really good, love the hat with the feather in it and everything. And these new gold coin pieces with the little crowns on them, that's really cool as well. Yeah, so far we're two for two in figures that I really, really like. All right, next, number three. If this is mapped the same as the Marvel CMF was, then this is probably gonna be another Snow Warrior, but we'll see. Alright, number three. That is another Snow Warrior. Okay, so it's probably similar to the Marvel mapping. You can see this guy does have an alternate face where he's happy, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to assume the mapping is the same as the Marvel box, so I'm going to remove this one, remove this one, and remove this one, because those three should all be duplicates. And now let's move on to minifigure number four. Alright, I think I can feel a mini bag inside here. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, what is this, the raccoon girl, I think? Yeah, that's who it is. Alright, here's the raccoon suit girl, and something I didn't notice from the official images is she is actually an old lady, not like a young girl. That's some cool variation, we'd need more old lady face prints because we don't have that many. And something even cooler, she actually does come with an extra hair piece too to put on her. Was not expecting that at all, but hey, I'll take it, that's really cool. The figure itself, though, is rather simple. Dual mode legs, which is cool, and I like the raccoon tail, but not too much going on with it. However, I will say this is better than some of the other character suits, I don't mind it. And the new face print is fantastic. I might actually try to use that for Mistake from Ninjago, because we don't have a good face print for her. It's not perfect, but I think it would work well enough. So I'm definitely going to try that at some point. Alright, and then this one should also be new. Wow, this bag feels like nearly empty. I wonder what's in it. Alright, let's see. That is the Chili Suit Girl. There she is. She's probably the most basic one so far, but honestly, I don't mind her. She comes with a carton of milk, which is a very common part, but it's still nice to get. Beneath the chili suit, she has this little chili logo right here, and there you can see her face print a little bit better. And surprisingly, just like the raccoon lady, she does come with an alternate hair piece, which is a really, really nice inclusion that honestly makes this figure a lot better. This is a really cool new recolor, too. I really like it. This could be used for Antonio from Ninjago. I know the hair color is not perfect, but it's pretty close in the exact hairstyle. So again, very, very cool. I love that. All right, and then I'm going to assume the next four duplicates again. So let me remove those. And then let's go for figure number six or non-duplicate figure number five. This package feels very empty again. Very curious what this one is. All right, let's see. That is the Moon Warrior. The Moon Warrior is awesome. I love the face print and the hair color and everything. This trans purple sword is super, super cool, and I love the arm printing. Yeah, this one looks fantastic, and the new shield is super, super cool as well. I love it. All right, next figure. Let's see what this one is. That was out of focus, my bad. And let's see. That is the forest spirit, or the druid, I forget what the actual title of this guy was. There's the little forest druid, and this guy is really, really good. This figure is not what I had hoped it would be from the leaked names, but I have to say, I do really like this one. The coolest parts, I think, are the acorn hat, I think that looks fantastic, and this leaf cape out the back. But he's also got mid-legs, this really cool mushroom piece, and a really nice looking torso, too. Yeah, this one's very, very solid. Not the type of figure I tend to really like, but I have to say it is very well done. Alright, and now I'm going to assume those four are all duplicates, so now let's move on to this row. If this is new, this should be unique figure number seven. I keep forgetting to change the focus, I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, let's get this one open. This one feels very full, actually, this time around. It's not an empty package. Alright, let's take it out. And we have the little horse girl. 
I don't remember the actual name of this figure, but it's a, it's a horse girl. All right, there's the horse girl, and once again, this is really, really great. The girl herself is rather generic in terms of looks, however, the level of detail here is great. I love this hidden side hair piece recolored. It's great to see that coming in more colors now. The arm printing here is crazy good. That's such a useful torso print. And the new horse is really cute as well. Yeah, this is a very solid one overall. Quite impressed by this. All right, we've got seven figures. That means five more to go, and this one should also be a new one, hopefully. Let's see what's in here. And that is the the girl with the bird, the zookeeper. I don't remember the name of this figure, but again, very, very exciting. All right, here's the zookeeper. I think her face print might be referencing the zookeeper from a very early LEGO minifigure series. I forget the exact series, but it came with a monkey. And this face print is very, very similar to that one. So it's cool seeing that called back to here. The torso on this one is rather simple, but I think it's nice, and it's nice to get just black short sleeves, but a very, very cool part is this arm actually has a watch on it. I can see that becoming very, very useful in custom figures, and the pants are fantastic too. Side leg printing, dual molded legs with these boots. And then the new toucan is super funny and super cute. Alright, and then the next four should all be repeats, and then this one should be a new one. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it kind of burst out. This is the wheelchair guy. And the bags are fused together. Great. There's the wheelchair driver, and I think this guy's fantastic as well. Love the new wheelchair piece. I think that's super cool. The metal's always nice to get, and the bicycle helmets are a really, really cool part. And finally, we finally have a Lego piece to represent my favorite thing. Sport. I think that torso is really, really funny. I think this is another great figure. Alright, and then this figure should also be new, hopefully. Alright, let's see what's in this one. That is the figure skater. Here's the figure skater, and in my opinion, this is probably the worst figure of the series. He has arm printing on one arm, and that printing looks really, really good, but it's not on the other arm, and there's no leg printing at all. This guy's meant to match with a female figure skater from a much earlier minifigure series, but unfortunately, he feels like he's still up to the same quality of, like, those years ago, and he doesn't feel like he's worth $5, and I think this is probably the only figure in this series I don't really like. But I'll go in more detail about that when I do my full review. This is just my first impressions. Hair piece is cool, though, and I do like that one printed arm. And they included the superheroes pose piece so you can actually have him skating on the stand. I think that's a nice touch. All right, only two more figures left. So the next four should be repeats and then the next two should be the final ones. I remember the final six in the Marvel box were a little bit weird. I think they ended up being duplicates. So I guess we'll see if that's the case here. So let's get this one opened up. And yep, it's the same thing as the Marvel box. It is duplicates back there. Moon Warrior again. Here's what our alternate face looks like. Now, if I remember correctly, then the very back two should be new. Let's test that theory. All right, let's pour this one out. And we have the snail alien. So yes, that is correct. This one's really funny. He looked funny from the pictures, but having him in hand, yeah, he's hilarious. I really like this guy. He's also got this vial in the back, which I wasn't expecting. Pretty cool overall. All right, and then only one minifigure left, which should be the final one back here. Let's see, am I able to get through this entire box with only two duplicates? All right, let's pour it out. And yep, there is the final figure, the robot. Here is the robot, and wow, this is one of the best for last. I'm so impressed by this guy. The little mini robot on the side is really cute, and the design on the full-size robot is amazing. Side leg printing and everything, the colors are fantastic. He's also got this robot arm, which is the classic Lego robot arm piece. I did not know that piece was still being produced. It was one of my favorite parts as a kid, so it makes me very happy to see it still being made here. And he's got a claw in his hand, but you're supposed to be able to swap it out for this drill or this hammer. And then underneath this mask, you can actually see his face print, which is just a pretty generic robot face, which is really useful, I think. Yeah, this is a fantastic minifigure overall. I'm so impressed by this one. But yeah, there are all 12 minifigures in this series. I successfully opened up all these packets and only got two duplicates, so that's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments which of these guys is your favorite. Personally, from first impressions, I really like the Snow Warrior and the robot. But the figure skater is the only one I have, like, genuine issues with, and I'm not even, like, that passionately against it. It's just not very great. But the rest of these are pretty fantastic. I'm overall very satisfied. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of the series in the comments below. And stay tuned for my full review of the full series coming very, very soon. If you enjoyed this video, please press like. Subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this almost every day. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.